we got to look at nature from the holistic approach. It can't be just human related interests that we need to preserve, conserve, or secure. Kathmandu basically it has all the infrastructure and all that to carry out projects that has international components. The Tiger Genome Project is being carried out in collaboration with Virginia Tech and also University of Idaho. Molecular diagnosis was a, a, a unique thing for, for this place. We were the first to introduce that in Nepal. We approached USAID here, and they funded us to do a two-year research project to make genetic database of all the wild tigers that are found in the Tarai Arc region of Nepal. Using what we call non-invasive genetics, because we're using the fecal matter, and so there is no need to capture the animal, you just collect the, the fecal matter and you extract DNA from the cells that are sloughed off when the feces comes out. And then you take that DNA and you do species, sex and individual identification. We have over 1,100 samples from four different national parks, major national parks of Nepal, uh, in our first year. If we can find out where the tigers are, where they're moving and all that kind of stuff, then we will be able to design this national park, their habitat, or save their habitat in a much more informed way. So eventually what we want to do is build this, this one big map that has all the biodiversity information, both flora as well as fauna. We want to present this information uh, to conservation biologists, to government, for the, the policy so that they can look at the whole map from a holistic approach and come up with conservation plans that are effective. All these animals are beautiful. We need to definitely preserve them, conserve them, and certainly not harm them. And that's what, what we believe in.